So a lot of you have been asking me to do things that you didn't know about the cat in Minecraft, so here I am today to do exactly that. So what's going on guys? My name is Anthony and today I will be bringing you guys 25 things that you didn't know about the cat in Minecraft. Now if you guys do enjoy today's video then be sure to give this video a like rating. Like this video if you guys are excited for the 1.14 update. Now if this video is able to hit over 5,000 likes, then that would just be amazing, not gonna lie. By the way, guys, we are only about 10,000 subscribers away from a million subscribers, which is just insane. So if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. But anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into today's video about cats in Minecraft. I really hope you guys enjoy it. The cat prior to 1.14 is the tamed version of the ocelot that was added into Minecraft on January 20th. 26th, 2012 in version 1.2. If the player wants to obtain a tamed cat as a pet, then they would have to find an ocelot, which is a yellow spotted passive mob that can be found in the jungle biome. An ocelot can be tamed and turned into a cat by slowly approaching it with an uncooked piece of fish. If they like you enough, they will slowly approach you back and you'll be good to tame them. However, if you make any sudden movements at all, the ocelot will run away and your chance chances of taming it will be very low. If you successfully tame an ocelot into a cat, then you will receive one of the three awesome looking cat skins that you can see on screen. However, in the upcoming Minecraft 1.14 Village and Pillage update, this is all set to change. So, in Minecraft 1.14, a change has been made to ocelots to where they can no longer be tamed and changed into cats. However, they will still roam around in jungle biomes as normal. The only thing you you can really do with ocelots now is breed them. In the 1.14 update, ocelots and cats have been split into their own separate mob as cats can now be found in NPC villages as stray cats rather than in jungles as ocelots. Taming a stray cat in a village in 1.14 is exactly the same as taming an ocelot before as all you have to do is slowly walk up to it with an uncooked piece of fish, slowly watch it walk over to you, right click it with the fish fish and there you go you've tamed it. Once again any sudden movements towards the stray cat will make it run away so be very careful when taming it. This black cat skin that you can see on screen can actually be naturally found in your Minecraft world and no I am not talking about the fact that it can spawn in a village it can actually naturally spawn somewhere else. That's right guys if you ever happen to encounter a swamp biome and encounter a witch hut structure or their now known as swamp huts, then you will actually find a black cat sitting inside one along with the witch as you can see, which is really cool actually. A really cool little feature with tamed cats in Minecraft is that when you go to sleep in your bed at night time, the cat will actually go to the edge of your bed and sleep on the edge of the bed with you, which looks really really cool. Not only that, but when the player awakes in the morning, there is a chance that a tamed cat will give the player a gift after they wake up and the gift is a dropped item from the cat's loot table which contains one of the following items. Having a tamed cat in Minecraft is probably one of the most useful pets to have as they are actually able to scare away creepers as you can see. So if you've got your cat with you and you happen to encounter a creeper, then the creeper will actually just start to walk away from you as the cat is present. And finally, the most annoying one of all, a tamed cat will just randomly sit on your chest just to annoy you because you can't even open the chest when they're sitting on it so you're going to have to find a way to get them to move. So, yeah, cats, stop sitting on the chests. A tamed cat will also just randomly sit on a furnace when it is lit, presumably to, you know, keep warm and stuff. Not only will tamed cats scare away creepers, but they will also scare away phantoms. So if you haven't slept in your bed for many Minecraft days and a phantom starts attacking you, just have a tamed cat present once again and they will scare away the phantom. A more known fact, but a tamed cat will sometimes just 
just randomly sit on your bed during the daytime. I don't, I don't really know why. That I guess they just want to, you know, be comfortable. So guys, as I mentioned before, prior to the 1.14 update, we have three unique different type of cat skins that look like this. However, in late September 2018, at the Minecon Earth livestream for the 1.14 update, it was announced that the cat would be receiving eight more unique skins along with a ninth secret skin. During the snapshot phase for the 1.14 update, all eight of these cat skins made it into the game and they all look like this and I have to say they look absolutely fantastic. In Minecon Earth 2018, Minecraft developer Jeb announced that the community would be able to vote for the ninth cat skin to be added with the rest of the eight cat skins and as a result, YouTuber Good Times with Scars Cat Jelly won the contest and was added in 1.14 and the skin looks like this. Scar, if you ever happen to be watching this video, congratulations on your cat Jelly making it into Minecraft. Tamed cats will teleport to the player when the player is more than 12 blocks away from them. However, they will not teleport to the player if the cat is sitting down or if the cat is in a minecart. They also won't teleport if the cat is attached to a fence with a lead and they also will not teleport if the player is in the nether so yeah uh, they won't always have your back. This white cat skin that you can see on screen in Minecraft appears to be based on the Kalmanir cat which is a rare breed of cat that originated in Thailand and I have to say there is quite a resemblance. Like tamed wolves the tamed cats also have a collar on their necks as you can see and the color of the cat's collar can be changed by using any colored dye so if you want to make the cat's collar red, then just use a red type of dye. The tamed cat, on the other hand, will kill rabbits instead of chickens, once again dealing one and a half hearts of damage, and they will also kill baby turtles as well, so the tamed cats are just as horrible as the ocelots. Why do you have to kill baby turtles? and rabbits. Ocelots, stray cats and tamed cats will not take any form of fall damage no matter how high they fall from. In the bedrock edition of Minecraft there is an exclusive feature in the game that is all to do with the cat when there is a full moon at night time and I will show you guys what it is right now. So during a full moon in Minecraft bedrock edition 50% of all cat spawns will be black cats as you can see so yeah when when it's night time in Bedrock Edition, you will see quite a few naturally spawning black cats in villagers. The Tuxedo Cat skin is actually based on Minecraft developer Jeb's pet cat Newton, who unfortunately passed away in 2014, but I think it's really cool that the cat skin is in Minecraft. Wild Ocelots will actually attack and kill chickens or baby turtles, dealing one and a half hearts of damage to them when, you know, they attack them so that's pretty sad to be honest they kill baby turtles and, and, and chickens and chickens due to all of the textures changing in the upcoming 1.14 update the three cat skins we have in the game prior to 1.14 have also received a slight change so before 1.14 the cat texture skins looked like this and then in the early snapshots for 1.14 all three of them were changed to look like this however the tuxedo cat skin received an additional texture change as in a later 1.14 snapshot it was changed from this to this. But anyways, that just about concludes today's video about the cat, everybody. I really hope you all enjoyed it and or found it informative. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, everybody, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to give this video a like rating. If you want to see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing as well. We are really close to a million, like I said at the start, and I just cannot believe it, to be honest. Real quick before I go, everybody, both of these survival servers on my Minecraft server have actually had a reset recently so if you want to start brand new on survival on my server then be sure to check it out the ip is on screen or in the description below but anyways i'm going to go now everybody because i am really hungry after making this video so i'm just gonna go get some food now i think so thank you all so much for watching once again have a fantastic day and i will see you all in my next video i'm still getting used to recording in my new apartment so sorry if my voice still sounds a little bit 
bit weird in my later videos. I'm just I'm just trying to get used to being in my new place. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.